Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. We have just finished our little uh, stint over at the Solarian homeworld. We have freed the Krogan female, and we are free to go and perform this mission over at the Krogan DMZ. Got some stuff we need to go investigate Cerberus presence, extract Turian survivors. But, uh, you know, we're not going to be doing that just yet. Why? Because we got something over here I want to do. Rescue the students. I could go and do just necessary missions right away, but I'm going to break it up with some of these other ones, the, uh, the side optional missions. Just do a quick scan around, because I know the Reapers will not invade the system. And... nothing. Now what this is, is a school for the, like, the most gifted humans in the galaxy, I guess. But it has a very special program called the Ascension Project, which trains human biotics. What are we going to do? Well, let's bring Edie along for the first time. And I guess it's been a while since we've had James on a mission. Oh, I got some points. After you get so far along a, uh, a pathway, you can choose different options on how you want to level them up. Impact radius by 40% or damage and force by 40%. And I'll have a different option later on down the line. I'm not locked into a single path. I'm going to increase damage and force by 40%. And then I'm going to go over and do... What do we have here? Slam. I'm going to do slam. Force or impact radius by 2%. Uh, for impact radius, what that means is after the enemy flies into the sky when they land, they're slammed down to the ground. When they land, it causes damage to anything that's around there. If I were to do this, it would cause more damage if I were like hitting a cluster of enemies. Force by 40. Eh. I'm going to increase force, though. There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight-up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSB Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Okay, so Cerberus is attacking these students, probably because it wants to recruit them into its mutant army. Oh, jeez, the Alliance is a cruiser here. Fighters, so we're gonna have to... Normandy is going and... ...pulling them away. There we go. Left us behind. Keep the shuttle in position. We'll be back. Uh, 
Okay. Commander, I'm locked in a server room around the corner. Server's troops are trying to get in. This place looks like it's seen better days. Them and, uh, I thought I had something intelligent to say. Turns out I didn't. Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations, working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met, God, it's been 20 years ago when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed. But the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. Boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring him back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. Okay, so let's get out there and kick some ass. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Oh boy, better do something about that. Oh, we can't get through. Oh well. Sorry bro, you're gonna have to die. Okay, we got some students trapped in a barrier, or actually they're putting the barrier up. Trying to keep these soldiers out. I don't know how long they can keep that barrier up, but I guess we're gonna have to help them. One down, two down, actually he's probably not dead yet, oh actually yeah he is because I upgraded the force. You okay bro? There may be more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. Hey ready. Just seeing if there's anything out here to collect. Remember to always check your surroundings in case there's something you're going to want. Like this. Now listen to the uh, propaganda that Cerberus is broadcasting. I'm trying to get the students to submit. Didn't quite save that one. Gotta love those grenades, huh? Terrible place to keep cover. Shepard's half exposed. Nice, he bounced back up. Shot to the gut. Stupid sir. 
Cerberus, guys. Ooh, a new shotgun. Let's go check that out. Eh. There it is. A little heavy. Well, I'm just about as heavy as the rest of them are. So I'm still not going to be carrying a shotgun just yet. Later on in the game, I probably will. Once the sniper rifle I'm using stops being really good. Ah, oh, damn it. Slap some Menagel on there before she bleeds out. Nice bedside manner there, James. I don't think he dodged that. How are you still alive? Sean, can you hear me? How do you know my name? I saved your brother. He's with Kaylee Sanders at security. Can you get to her? Yeah. I just need to rest for a minute. Thank you. Rest? You're about to die. Get your ass up and move. Oop. New, uh... It's an assault rifle, I believe. And relatively heavy, but uh, high accuracy. I actually may equip that. And get rid of the sniper rifle. Okay, yeah, this'll do. No one more no more one hit kills, but It's Jack. Shepherd. These things are real messed up. Jack was a character in Mass Effect 2, known as Subject Zero. She was a, a very powerful human biotic that we had picked up from a prison, a prison ship, actually. Might want to use a submachine gun to take down the shields. Usually pretty good at taking shields down. I was actually surprised to see Jack here because in my previous playthrough had been during a game where Jack didn't survive, so she wasn't here. Didn't make it. Oh, yeah. Jumps. <laughs> Kaylee said she was 
putting out an SOS. I had no idea the King of the Boy Scouts would show up. All right, amp check. Prangley, those fields were weak. Cerberus isn't gonna lie down out of pity like that girl you took to prom. Whoa. Trap juice in an energy bar. We move in five. <clears throat> What the hell? How many times did I tell you not to trust Cerberus? What the hell's your problem? Those troops had you on the ropes, Jack. I just saved your ass. You want a medal? No. I'd like you to shut up so we can get moving. Jack's personality appears largely unchanged. Hey, Edie. Nice body. Now you look like a sex bot instead of a sex toy. Okay. Right now, all I care about is getting my guys out of here. Your guys? <laughs> yeah. I guess so. I can't think of anybody who could care about them more. Well, I had some free time while you were off playing hero. Alliance Brass knew I helped you. They offered me this. And apparently the students responded well to my teaching style. The psychotic biotic! I will destroy you! Drink your juice, Rodriguez. You couldn't destroy wet tissue paper. Cortez to extraction team. The Cerberus cruiser is coming back. How long have we got? Two minutes stops, Commander. After that, there's no way we'll get past them. Get out of here and back to the Normandy. We'll find another way off the station. Roger that. Good luck, sir. Shepard to Sanders. The students are safe, but the shuttle's a no-go. Understood. I might know another way off the station, but I need station-wide camera access. Can you disable the Cerberus security override? It's routed through Orion Hall, so it should be nearby. The reason why they have to rest is because using biotics burns up calories, and these guys have How been... Does camera access get us off this station? We need to reach the Cerberus shuttles. The cruiser won't auto-target friendly ships, which gives us a fighting chance to escape. Get me back the cameras, and I'll find a path to the shuttles that keep Cerberus from boxing you in. The... Using biotics burns up calories, and these kids have been going on for quite a while, so they're pretty tired. Uh, the laptop you're talking about is over here. Sanders, you should have access now. Got it. The fastest way is through the atrium, but Cerberus has sealed the doors. You'll need to disable the magnetic locks. The overrides should be directly above the door. Okay, we have to go up into that room where all the uh, the students are hanging out. You really think we're getting out of here? Of course we are. Don't talk like that. Sorry. We'll be ready when you need us, Commander. I can't believe you and our teacher worked so together. Our teacher worked with Commander Both Shepard. Here. That's pretty bad. Maybe we've got a chance. Yeah. Wonder why she never mentioned it. Got it. You should be able to force the door open now. I'll get to the shuttles ahead of you and get a pair ready to fly. If I could find a workbench, I'd be able to install that scope I just picked up. Is there one up here? Sometimes you find workbenches just like strewn about your missions. Hey, let me know when we've got a new way off this station. How are the students handling the war? How do you think? They're a bunch of teenagers. Until a few months ago, their biggest concern was getting laid. You don't think they're ready for war? I don't think they have a choice. So, all this talk about biotic artillery strikes. It's great in theory. Maybe they'll get it together once they've seen some action. But? <sighs> They'd be better off as support. Put them in the back ranks, helping with barriers and shit. I don't know. Have you told them that? No. They need me to believe in them. I did pick up a few things listening to your damn speeches. I have to say, Jack, you look good. Yeah, well, maybe some of your attitude rubbed off on me. I never had a family. And these guys... Anyone screws with my students, I will tear them apart. What's so valuable about these students? Biotically, I mean. Well, what's scarier than a pissed-off biotic attacker? A whole bunch of them working together. It's like a biotic artillery strike. Any asshole gets in our way, we rip him to shreds. Doesn't that exhaust them? Yeah, sure. But we've been working on conditioning, improving endurance. 
Whenever they complain, I tell them about the collector base, holding that damn biotic bubble up against those bug things. Ugh. I kept thinking, damn, let the Solarian handle this. He can talk them to death. What's so valuable? Well, what's scary? It's like a bite. Isn't that the kind of thing you wanted to destroy on Pragya? You know damn well it wasn't. Cerberus was torturing kids on Pragya. These guys are older, and they volunteered, and the only ones feeling any pain are the bad guys. Stay close. We'll get you out of here. Good. Okay, that was a little awkward. Everyone be ready. We'll go in first and draw their fire. We'll shadow you from the second level and hit those fu Those guys from above. I like it. Keeps them safer, too. Just time your shots and stay safe. All right. I didn't bust my ass training you so you could die now. Keep low, pick your targets. Students of Grissel Academy, the station is sealed. The Alliance soldiers cannot save you. All they can do is get you killed. Surrender peacefully and you won't be harmed. <sighs> Asshole. Damn it, they're messaging everyone. Students, switch your Omni tools to privacy mode so they can't track you. What if... what if they're not lying? Ugh, you gotta be kidding me, these little pains in the asses. We need to hold them by their hands. You've already held your own against Cerberus. You've been trained for this by one of the best. Come on, Rodriguez. They're only asking nicely because you scared them in that last fight. So take your balls out of your purse and kick some ass. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Let's go. Okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, jeez, another atlas. Shit, 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 shit! What the hell is that about? Thinking their shields can get past my biotics. Jack seems so freaking aggressive. That doesn't change it, I guess. Stick your head up. Stick your head up. Stick your head up. Come on, you little chump. They just don't give up. Why are there so many of them? Oh, Edie went down.
Why aren't those kids providing more support? Think for that meta gel, or I'd be dead right now. Up, oh, running out of ammo. Up, oh, that's not gonna work. Mass Effect One, a move like that may have helped. So they were planning on taking all the students back live. If they died, they'd take them anyway and use them for their genetic material. And they wanted Jack, Subject Zero. Especially hey, Jack. We're in the atrium. I'm taking a back route to the shuttles. I'll meet you there. Nice one, friendly! Show me your face. I just love how you can arc that over walls. Cover don't mean shit. guy. <laughs> I do that a lot. Where'd you come from? Why did that guy go flying in this direction? Out of ammo for that. Shit. 
chump. Ah, great. Who says you can't charge a turret? Who else is still alive? Okay up there? Rodriguez took one in the arm because she didn't block her barrier. Commander, I've reached the Cerberus shuttles without being detected. They know what they're doing, though. You need to hurry. Okay, that room goes nowhere. Probably just a pathway for enemies to come out of. Ammo, thank you very much. Any time now. There we go. That's an impressive barrier, Octavia. Our file says you've been working on shield technology. Okay. Gonna have to do something about these guys. How about this? Not go as smoothly as I thought, but still. Why is it that I can shoot through your barrier? I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance. I'm here to help. I didn't buy it from the last guy, and I've got no reason to buy it now. This is a multi core shield prototype based on cyclonic barrier tech. It'll hold off your guns for hours. Now, let's see about that. We don't have time for this. Edie? Of course. Please remain still. Nice shield. Maybe the Alliance can use it. With a few tweaks. The biotic students are up there. Stay close. They'll get you out of here. Okay. Uh, thanks. That's not the way. Looks like schematics for amp interfaces. Not as good as what we already have, but still worth a look. Chest plate. Well, at least no one's in that atlas, so we can go in there, you kill that guy real quick, and then we can take it. So let's try that out. Mission successful. I'm gonna go pilot an atlas now, that's gonna be awesome. Okay. This is what they consider melee. If that makes any sense to you. you. Just have to go and kill a bunch of these Cerberus guys. On normal mode, this will not give you any trouble. Who's that guy supposed to be? You know, if I can fight, use these things against the Reapers. Bradley, Rodriguez, stay close. 
If I could use this thing against the Reapers, that'd be un unstoppable. James. My bad. Wow, that shield actually held out. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Almost ready. What are they waiting for? Do they not know what's happening right now? That guy just trying meleeing the Atlas. Oh, it's another one. Just focus all your fire on it, and you'll be fine. I can't even see it now. Though I did destroy it. Hurry, Commander. The Normandy has pulled the cruiser out of position. We need to leave now. Kaylee, how's it coming? Shuttles are unlocked. Take the controls and get the students aboard. Wait, where the hell's Rodriguez? Ah, she'll be fine. She needs covering fire. She needs more than that. Joker, we flew out on a Cerberus shuttle. Watch your fire. Right, I've got you on sensors. Should just be a minute. Thank you, Commander. We'd have never gotten off that station if you hadn't come. Forget that. We kicked some ass. Next place we dock, you're all getting inked. My treat. <clears throat> what do you guys want? Ascension Project logo? Glowing fist? Maybe a unicorn for Rodriguez? Screw you, ma'am. I can't believe we got them out alive. I was going to suggest that they stick to support roles. But perhaps they're ready after all. Uh, well, Jack says they're better for support, so might as well do that. They're definitely ready. But the Alliance needs them in a support role. What? We trained for artillery strikes. We don't need another artillery unit. We need stronger barriers for our frontline squads. This is bullshit! Hey, if that's where they need us, that's where we go. Besides, I'm sure we'll get some shots in. Commander, we've got a visual on you now. Preparing to dock. Hey, Jack, now that you're military, you gonna wear a uniform, or are you just getting the officer's bars tattooed on? Screw you, f Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> what the hell was that? Jack promised to watch your language in order to maintain the necessary professionalism we need from our teachers. <laughs> you have a swear jar or something? Because I bet if we empty that thing, we can afford another cruiser. Cover your ears, kids. Hey, Joker. 